praise the name of the Lord. A pleasant good morning to each and every one of you. We are Word of Faith Gospel Tabernacle, Pastor Bobby Budram and Pastor Patsy Budram. We are here this morning to do a time of prayer, especially for students that, that are returning back to school online and those that who will be going back to school to do their examination. So this morning our service is geared towards prayer for, for students. And I want you to get your children up, let them join us on the stream this morning yes. as we look to the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads in prayer this morning. Father in heaven, we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for having waked us up this morning to see a wonderful day. Yes. For your blessings upon our lives, for good health and strength, for safety, guidance, direction and protection. Lord, you have brought us through a wonderful week and you have brought us to another week ahead of us. Lord, even Lord, as we face challenges, whatever may come our way, even as Lord, students get ready, Lord, to go back to school online, and even those that get ready to do their examinations, even as we lift them up in prayer, I pray, Lord, that you would answer our prayers this morning. Touch each and every one of us, those that are viewing now, and even those that would be joining, my God, later on. I pray, Lord, that you touch them, touch their parents, Father, my God. Deep touch each and every one of us. Take control of this service this morning. Even Lord, as my dear wife shares the word of God, and even as I join with those that have you in prayer, that you would bless us. And Lord, use this service for your honor and glory. Thank you for doing it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Precious good morning to all of you this morning. So as you join in this morning, as we worship the Lord this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. And we for our student as a move yes, to a higher Lord. level. Amen. Physically and spiritually this morning. Hallelujah. We yes, pray Lord. for an outpouring upon them. Yes, Jesus. For abundance. The doors will open. Hallelujah. Take them to higher heights and deeper levels. Yes, both Jesus. spiritually, physically, and educationally. Hallelujah. Let's go to the Lord.
Because he was appointed king, he was anointed king, and it was his desire to be able to rule well. And deep down in his heart, it was his desire. And one night, as he slept, God gave him a dream. He was asking and said, "God, I want to be able to rule these people well. To go in and come out, to come in and go out, and." Be wise in my understanding to be able to rule God's people. And guess what? God answered his prayer. If this morning many of you feel challenged, you are going up to new classes, you have subjects to choose. Hallelujah. Many of you have to face the exam, go in school and face the exam in the midst of coronavirus. Many of you facing university. You have the challenges of studies, and many of you have the challenges of online studies, total online studies. These are challenges, and some of you as parents, you have to meet those needs. And you are not employed at this time. You don't know where the finances are going to come from. But I'm telling you this morning, put your trust and dependence on God. So as we look at this young King Solomon, as I read the scripture, this will be the basis of our. Word to you this morning, Hallelujah! And the text is taken from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter one, verse six to twelve. And it says here, and Solomon went up thither to the brazen altar before the Lord, which was the tabernacle of the congregation, and offered a thousand burnt offerings upon it. And in that night did God appear unto Solomon and said unto him, Ask what I shall give thee. And Solomon said unto God, Thou hast showed great mercy unto David my father, and hast made me to reign in his stead. Now, O Lord God, let thy promise unto David my father be established, for thou hast made me king over a people like the dust of the earth in multitude. Give me now wisdom and knowledge that I may go out and come in before this people. For who can judge this thy people that is so great? And God said unto Solomon, Because this was in thine heart, and that thou hast asked, and because this was in thine heart, and thou hast not asked riches, wealth, or honor, nor life of thine enemies, neither yet hast thou asked long life, but hast asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people, over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee. I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there be any after thee. Have thy, have the like. So here we see a young king, lacking the wisdom, knowledge, understanding. He cried out to God, and he said, "God, I want wisdom. 
to be able to rule your people and to rule them well. And God said, because you have not asked for riches and you have not asked for the lives of your enemies, I will give you riches and honor and wealth and I will give you all these things together with wisdom. And as you follow the account of, of King Solomon, yes, God gave him wisdom. When a people from all over the world came to discuss matters with him so that they could make right decisions and God gave, God made him one of the wonders of the world. That no other person had the amount of wisdom he had even before or after him. And we thank God for that. So where does wisdom come? Where does knowledge and understanding come? Where does wealth and riches and honor come from? It comes from God, the creator of the heaven and the earth. So today you feel challenged as a student. With all the studies you have to do, with online challenges. Today you feel challenged as parents. To be able to provide for your children. I'm telling you. Put your trust and dependence on God. Hallelujah. So let's get a little piece of that song again. God is going to take you to a new level. And Reverend Patsy Woodrum will share a word of encouragement with you. Before we go into prayer. Hallelujah. Thank God. Let's worship the Lord this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So let's worship the Lord. God wants to take you to a new level. To a higher level. To a higher level in Jesus. And so claim it this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's an uproaring. Of abundance, of abundance, new doors have been opened. Yes, yes, yes. The land is green, a new place has been released for glory. Hallelujah. 
and, and one of the other versions said, many of you have planned to do something in Hallelujah. life, Hallelujah. but Thank God you. wants to give you a future and a hope. Amen? So many of you have plans. Amen? You're writing your exam. Amen? You're reading a new, new setting, online setting. That's right. You know, it yeah. is something new. Amen? As the keep on saying, it's a new normal. But here we see in the spirit that it's a new level for you as students to true. move out Quite true. in Christ Jesus, spiritually and physically. Right? So, just pray and ask God to help you. Right? And He will answer your prayer to move to that new level. We know it's a challenge for those of you home. Amen? Online, online schooling. It's a challenge. But we see here. As, as Pastor was sharing about Solomon. Amen? So sometimes we might not have all the, all the knowledge of technology and how to go about it. That's right. Even that's sometimes right. as parents. But once you put it in the hand of God, God is able to help you. Just as Solomon did. Because God knew Solomon's heart. What he has in the heart and God knew your heart. What is in your heart. And God will grant it unto you. Just as Solomon, right? God said to Solomon, He said, Because this was in thy heart, and thou hast not asked for riches, for wealth, or honor, nor the life of thy enemy, neither, ask, neither ask for long life, but thou hast asked for wisdom amen, amen, and amen. knowledge. And this is what you need to ask mm. as parents. You need to go into the word of God and show your children certain things. Those that are from age, they are able to go and read the word of God. You do not understand something, hear me. You can just go and Google the meaning and you will get it. Right? And you will see. It is so simple to understand. So Quite we true. see here. Solomon was king, mm -hmm. right? But what he wanted most was wisdom and knowledge that he asked God for. When God asked him what he want, he didn't ask for riches and wealth or any other thing or, or, or a fancy car. No. But he asked for wisdom and knowledge. For I said that thou mayest judge thy people over whom I have made the king. So he had was to make a decision because he was judged. And he had to know how to, to judge the people, to rule the people. And it's the same thing you are still with. You know, you need knowledge and wisdom how to go about right? your whole work, your lesson and everything. You know, right? Reverend Patsy, in today's society, we make it relevant to me and to you. The best way for what social mobility or to move up in life is not so much at your age to focus on a fancy car yes. or a lot of money. That's it. You as students, you need to focus on your education. Put your trust and dependence on God, that God will give you a good education. Hallelujah. And based on your education, you are able to get a good job. And based on those in and that financial, that educational foundation, everything yes. would be built. Your, of course, uh, your life must be built spiritually. Amen. And God will bless you with a good education. And from there on, the wealth and the riches and the honor and the fame will come. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh, a good life. education yes. is important. Amen. So focus on your education as you prepare to go back to school online, as you prepare for your exam. Hallelujah. Focus on your education and put your trust and dependence on God. And God will help you to build on that. Guess what? God knows your beginning and your ending. Amen. God knows your beginning and your ending. Hallelujah. Alright. So we see here, God granted Solomon that wisdom and knowledge. Amen. Because he did not ask, as we stress on, for riches and wealth or any big fancy thing. Amen. Neither shall there any after thee have the life. So there was no one else like Daniel, like, like um, Solomon, sorry. So I want to tie up this with Matthew 6, 33, where it said, seek ye, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take right, right. therefore no thoughts for tomorrow, 
for the more shall take thoughts for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Alright? So whatever. Put it in the hands of God. Seek God. Amen. And parents, you need to teach your children this. And the, the, the older children, they need to do what the word of God says. Seek ye first. Don't seek wealth and riches and things, but seek God's kingdom first, which is important. And dear God will bless you and raise you up and bring you to the top. Amen. You know, you know Matthew 6, 23 says, and that hits it on the spot. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Yes, as you put it first, God is able to add, give you all those things that you need in life. Alright, so we see, yes, as we, we continue that when you seek God first, God is able to bless you with a good education, a good job, and financially. Amen? So when you put God first, he will bring everything into place in your life. And you don't have to fret up yourself. God will just bring everything in its place. Amen. And God will give you the best. The best job. The best of everything. Amen. And bring you on top. Amen. So we ought to be thankful and grateful to God in advance. Amen. We need to thank God in advance for what He will do in our lives. Amen. When you finish writing exam, you need a good job. The way how the world is now, sometimes it is so hard. Many people have the degree and masters and it's so hard. But let me tell you something. When they seek God first, God is able to open those doors for you. He have that, amen, amen. He have that job waiting there for you. Right, sure. But once you are faithful to Him, God will bless you with the desire of your heart. Amen. And in Deuteronomy 28, verse 13, it says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. Right. And thou shalt be above only and not beneath. For if thou shalt hearken unto the commandment of the Lord, you hear this? Yes. If you do the commandment of the Lord, thy God, and to observe and do them. So once you obey God, Glory. God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. He will make you the head and not the tail. People were surprised to know. You know, when God has blessed you, they will want to know. But how come? That's so right. and so happened. But it's all because you put God first. You seek God first. And Proverbs 22 verse 6. Listen to the parents. Train up a child in the way he should go. That's right. And when he is old, he will That's not be far from it. So parents, we have a great role to do with our children, to train them up in the way of the Lord. Quite true. Right. Amen. So when we do that, God will bless. Amen. And in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8 to 10, he said, My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for there shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and a chain above thy neck. And verse 10, my son, mm -hmm. if sinners entice thee, consent That's right. not. Right? So children, it is important to be your parents in the Lord. You know, they have a saying, friends will carry you, but they will not bring you back. So come on, the Bible is saying, my son, if sinners entice thee, consent not. So the wrong things, don't consent to the wrong thing when you have your friends. They want to lead you astray? Use the two letter word, N-O. Right? Amen. So just use that word, say no. Or in certain instances, you just walk away. Okay? You know, there, there are the challenges of students. When you are in mm -hmm. class, you have the challenges of peer pressure because your 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 friends may mislead you into other activities yeah. that mm -hmm. are really not conducive to a proper education. So that that is a challenge. Now you have another challenge. You are not in school physically, mm -hmm. but you're online, and there are so many things that you could be exposed oh, online. Yeah. And you know your friends are posting a lot of things that could have your mind strayed. True. 
on things that are not productive so that you have to be focused and that is why once you you put your trust and dependence on God and you know the values of having a proper spiritual foundation hallelujah when you know the values of that you are able to keep away from those distractions and focus on your studies that is very important stay focused on God and he will guide you uh, another challenge that you have you have choices to make uh, mm -hmm. in subjects and let me tell you something the world is changing so drastically and every day there is a, a great change in terms of the job market I am telling you this morning that if you put your trust and dependence on God God will mm -hmm. give you the right area of studies to do so that when you qualify yourself and when you graduate there will be an opening up and a job market available for you where you could be gainfully employed. Put your trust in God. Amen. And it continue again. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. He said, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Oh, yeah. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. So let me tell you something. When you honor your mother and your father, Amen. God promise you something. He said that, that it may be well with thee. And thou mayest live long on the earth. So if you want to live long, honor your parents. Oh, yeah. And it will be well with thee. And if others provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Servant, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, Amen. in singleness of okay. your heart Glory. as unto Christ. So it is important to be obedient to our parents, to our, to our mother and father, to our elders. What about now when they look at it in nowadays? Children don't have no respect for the elderly. Sure. No respect. You know, I remember a long time home and even up till now, you know, we grew up in this way that the older one would be calling Tanti, Uncle, or, or or miss or mistress as the case may be but no we don't have that with young children you know they have they have lost the respect for I the sure. elderly mm -hmm. and it is important that parents we instill that in our children while they are young right now right so we see here even for our leaders no respect you yeah. know we call them my name or we call them my different name you know, sometimes some parents, some children now will call their mother, lady, what you cook, you know, and all this thing. No, 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 that is disrespect. True. Right? So we need to honor our parents, you know, if you call them mommy, you call them daddy, you know, as the case may be, that is the right way. We cannot just go and say, well, lady, what you have there for me? No, 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 that is disrespect. Right? It's not just a lady, that's your mom. That's it. Amen. So it is it is important, children, to have respect for the elderly. You might be walking down the road, you see an old person, you tell them good morning. One one older than you, you tell them good morning and all these things. It is so important. Amen. Amen. All right? You see somebody, it might not be related to you, but you could still call them Tanti, Uncle as the case may be, right? So all these things is important that we instill in our children and children you need to know that somebody that is older than you, you call them auntie, you call them uncle, you know, as the case may be, right? Have respect, amen? Have respect for amen. the yeah. elderly because this is the word of God that we should honor, right? And pray for those in authority, as the Bible said. So we need to have all these understanding as we go along in life. Have respect. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, it's important because these people, when they see you have disrespect for them, you know, in their hearts and their minds, they may, may speak a bad word against you. It doesn't yes. go down good. But they will bless you if you have respect for mm -hmm. them. Here goes a good young man. Here goes a wonderful young lady. And, and you know, they, they speak positive things into your life. They speak, you know, things of great success. Because uh, they see you as somebody, you know, that is different. 
from your from, from your friends they see you as somebody different who have been brought up in the right home hallelujah so you need to do your part so this morning friends you know we encourage you we encourage you as children to do your part do not be sidetracked with all the fanciful things in life. The Bible says on the principle, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Put God first. And as you put God first, as you prioritize him as number one in your life, all the other things will flow. He will lead you in the right path. He will give you the, the right subjects to choose because God knows what will happen to you in 10 years to come, 20 years, 50 years to come. God knows your future and he's able to guide you in the right direction. Because this is what Solomon did. He said, God, I am young. I don't have the knowledge to rule your people. And God saw his honesty. God saw his desire. And God said, because you have asked for wisdom and knowledge, I will bless you with all these other things. So let us ask God and say, God, help me with my exam. Help me with my studies. Help me with all these things that I need to have in place. And in so doing, I will be successful in my exams. I will rise up educationally. And as I rise up educationally, so I will rise up financially. And you, you know, I have a better status in life. Many of you have gone through challenges. Your parents are, are challenged right now. You, they don't have the basic things to help you. But that doesn't mean that you will remain right there. That does not mean that you will remain uh, down in life. As you put your trust and dependence on God, God will raise you. God will bless your parents with all the things that they need to help you in your education. God will bless you and take you to a higher level. In Jesus' name. So this morning we want to, to pray for students. First of all, we want to pray for the SEA students. Those that will be going in school and writing their exams. There are some names. I, I, I may not remember everybody. But we have uh, students like Eddie Harris. Like Liliana Rupnarai. Like Nathaniel Lauter. We have Priya Sao. And Azara Pariyal. We have these wonderful students who will be writing the exam. There may be others uh, that I may not be able to remember their names. So I want to pray this morning for those students that will be writing the SEA. There are also some students that there are also some students that have to write the exam, the CXA exam in school. Right? We have Rajesh Rampasad. We have Chantel Autar. Shantali Ogdar, we have Jared Narsis, and there might be others, but I want you, wherever you are this morning, to reach out. I want you to hold your pencil cases, whatever you're going to use for your exam, hold it in your hand, and I will pray. And in faith, anoint those things, that God will bless you. As I pray, God will bless you, will anoint your minds, to take away all fear, for God has not given you the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind to be focused on all those things that you have learned and heard related to your, your exam. Hallelujah. So, let us bow our heads in prayer. Father in heaven, I thank you, my God, for all those, uh, Lord, students uh, of our assembly that have prepared, they have studied uh, for the SEA exams. So God, I pray for Eddie Harris, Lord, that you touch him, open up his brains, open up his mind, open up his understanding. I pray, Lord, for Liliana Rupnarine, Father, my God. That you touch her in her heart, in her mind, Father, my God. Open up her understanding, Lord. That you make it easy for her, Father, my God. I pray, Lord, my God, for Nathaniel Lawton, Father. He has studied, he has prepared himself, Father, my God. Lord, for exam, for SEA, Father, my God. Touch him in his mind, touch him in his heart, touch him in his understanding. Lord, my God, I pray for Priya Sao, Father, my God, and Azara Pariya, my God, these students, my God, that have studied long, Lord, and have prepared themselves for exam. Touch them in their brains, touch them in their mind, touch them in their understanding. Make them brave, Father, my God. I rebuke every spirit of fear, every spirit of depression and oppression and frustration. I rebuke every spirit of God. 
and help them to be brave for my God. Yes, to Jesus. face the SEA exam as they go in school for my God. Yes, Lord. Give it up, Jesus. I pray, Lord, for those, my God, that have prepared for the SEA. CXC exam, Rajesh Rampasad, my God, touch him in a special way. For Shantali Otar, for my God, for Jared Nasus, for my God. Lord, my God, these children have prepared themselves. They have prepared themselves yes, for these Jesus. exams, for my God. Make them brave, yes, my Lord. God. I rebuke every spirit of frustration, every spirit of fear, for my God, every spirit of insufficiency, my God, that they feel that they are not prepared. I rebuke every wicked spirit, Father that want to confuse them. Every spirit of confusion that may come, my God, that they will be well focused. For you have not given them the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, Father, my God. Even, Lord, as I touch my mind, even as I reach out, Father, my God, even as they agree with me and they touch their minds, Father, my God, let your Holy Spirit be released upon them. For you have not given to them the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a song mind. Even as they hold, my God, those implements that they'll be using, their pencils, their, yes. their, their erasers, Father, my God, Lord, their pens, whatever, Lord, the entire Lord yes. examination, Lord, case, Father, that they'll be going into exam with, as they hold it, Father, I release anointing yes, upon them, Father. Right now, that as they hold their pencils and their pen and their erasers and whatever they use, mind. Lord, my God, your Holy Spirit will touch them. Lord, that your Holy Spirit will touch every implement, Father, my God. Lord, that they will not waver, that you will lead them and guide them and direct them to the correct answer, to the correct yes, answer, Jesus. even in multiple choices, even in essay answers, Father. You will take control of their hands, Lord, that they will be brave, my God, and be well focused. Take control of their minds, that they will be brave and well focused, that they will write the right answers. Lord, I speak 100% marks, 100% marks. I speak 100% marks in every answer that they give. I speak it up. And I thank you for doing it, Father. Lord, in Lord, let them be brave, my God. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Avoid them from COVID-19 infection, Father, my God. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let your holy angels all around them. And give them divine protection from every sickness, every disease, every virus, from COVID-19, Father. Help them, my God, to come through victoriously yes, and successfully in, all, in good health and strength. Yes, I speak yes. it on in Jesus' name. Even as that, as that prayer soaks in your spirit, oh, sing along yes, with a wonderful song, an appropriate song this morning. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, we will Hallelujah. be going into other prayers after the song. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So those of you Cape students, get ready. Those of you UE students, Get ready for your prayer. Hallelujah.
that song slow, slowly in the background because of our hope and our faith is in God. Our help is in Jesus. Come on, hallelujah, students. Put your trust in Him. He's able to help you. He's able to lead you. He's able to guide you and direct you this morning. This morning we have students uh, that are preparing for CAPE examinations. Yes, very challenging at a, at a higher level, hallelujah, as they prepare. And they have chosen their subjects to get through in university. We also have students uh, of, our, of our assembly in university, hallelujah. We have Dylan, Carl, he is preparing to write CAPE examinations coming up soon, hallelujah. We have uh, UE students, students in UE. We have Elizabeth Budram in her final year My in medical yes. studies. We have Cassie Carl, hallelujah, in her uh, studies in UE. We have Naomi Tilak Singh doing studies uh, at UV. We want to pray for these people. There yes, might be Jesus. others. Uh, their names may not come to my mind uh, at this point in time, but I want you to agree. Even as Dylan gets ready to write his CAPE examinations, uh, 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 Elizabeth gets ready to go into final year exam in, 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 in medical yes, studies. Cassie Carl, Naomi, get ready and be prepared. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So at this time I ask uh, Reverend Patsy to pray for these students, hallelujah. For Dylan, Lizzie, Cassie and Naomi, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So come on, as you agree in your home this morning, amen. For Dylan, to Cassie, Naomi and Lizzie, wherever Lizzie is, you know. That you all will agree this morning, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray, Lord, for these children, my God, they are... Lord, as they get ready, Lord, to write the kid exam, my God. Lord, I pray, my God, that you will help them, Lord, to focus Lord, on you, Jesus. Touch him, touch him. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will touch them in their mind, in their spirit right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare, my God, blessing and favor upon them. Upon, upon them this morning, my God. Lord, I pray, Lord, it must move, my God, to a new level, a higher level, my God. They will move in a higher level in Christ Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will touch them right now in their home, my God. Lord, it must be a viewing, my God. Lord, I pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit, your brain, my God, so will go forth, my God, through my God. Bring back to this the memory, morning, Lord. My God. Lord, I pray you will Bury. touch their mind, give them soundness of mind, I pray, my God. Lord, every spirit of fear, we come against Lord, it in the name of Jesus, right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I loosen them and set them free, my God, in the name of Jesus, my God. Lord, help them, Lord, as I seek you, my God. First, the kingdom yes, of God, and yes, all these yes, things shall yes, be added yes, unto yes, you, hallelujah. unto them, my God. Lord, and just as Solomon did, my God, he did not ask for wealth and riches, my God. But he asks for wisdom and knowledge, my God. Help them, Lord, to seek you and yes, to ask for yes, wisdom yes, and Lord. knowledge, my God. Lord, I pray, my God, that you will open up, Lord, the understanding, my God. Lord, whatever it might be, seem hard, my God. Make it easy for them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you will touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, give them that breakthrough right now in the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Lord, even for Hallelujah. Dylan, my God. For Cassie, for Naomi, my God. Lord, for Lizzie right now in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for bringing them through, my God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray, my God, for giving them good success, my God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, my God, Lord, that they will seek you first, most of all, my God. Put you first, Lord, that they will focus on you, Jesus. Lord, that everything, my God, will be added unto them, my God. Lord, the good education, the job that they are planning for, looking forward, my God. You know all the plans, my God. Yes, Lord, and as they put the plans yes, in yes. your hand, Lord, that you will work it out for them, my God. Lord, you will give them good success. Lord, I give you thanks and I give you praise in Jesus' name. Come on, in your home, you got to lift Hallelujah. your hand and you got to thank God. Hallelujah. you got to thank Jesus in advance. Hallelujah. Lord, as the Lord, Lord touches his face, Lord. my God. His examination yeah, face, touch, touch, him, face, touch every implement, Father. Anoint him, my God. Hallelujah. As he writes, uh, lead, lead him, Lord, to the right, Lord. Answers, Father, my God, to bring great success. Hundred percent, Father, my God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for, for, for Lord, my God, the, the results. Uh, 
Lord, her final results of year four for Elizabeth, Father, my God. Great success, Father, yes, my God. Continue. We thank you, Lord, my God, for the results, Lord, that these children have had in their final exams, Lord, this year. In as they move on, Lord, the next year, my God, the next semester, Father, open doors and opportunities for them, my God. Make it easy for them and let them flow victoriously into the next year of studies. We thank you for doing it, Father. Hallelujah. Come and worship the Lord because your help is in the Lord this morning. Let your hands
studies, Father my God, towards the choices of the subject that they have to make, Father my God. I pray, my God, that you open up their brains, open up their understanding, give them wisdom and knowledge and understanding, Father. Make it easy for them, my God. Provide the equipment that they need, Father my God. Lord, many parents may not be working, my God, or just begin one or two days' work. I pray, Lord, that you open up the opportunity for them, my God, that they would be able to meet those educational needs for their children, Father. The computers, Father, the printers, Father, my God. Lord, the memory sticks, Father, my God. Lord, the memory storages that they need, Jesus. Father, my God. All these, my God, technical equipment that they need. Uh, Lord, in to install internet, my God, in their homes, Father, my God. Meet those needs that they, the parents will be able to pay those bills and have yes, these Jesus. children, Father, my God, online for their studies. I pray for all those students whose name I've called, Father. Help them, Lord. Strengthen them in their brains and their understanding, my God. Give them, help them to be brave, Father. Help them to be brave, Father, my God. Help them to be brave, Father, my God. Strengthen them by your Holy Spirit. That they will, Father, my God, excel. They will be able to overcome all challenges in their studies. And that they will be able to excel, Father, my God. They will be able to excel in all their studies. And be the students and the wonderful children that you want them to be with great success and all the exams yes, and as they move ahead with their study give them great success as they put their trust and dependence on you and Lord even as we believe I pray you do it Father in Jesus name now I pray Lord for all parents Father Yes, All Jesus. parents in a special yes, Open up jobs, open up opportunities, Father my God, that they would be able to go and work and bring in the finances to pay the bills, to pay the rents, yes, my God, yes, for yes, university yes, students, yes, to pay the Lord, to, to purchase the groceries for the Lord for them, Father my God, that the money will be available, my God, for their rents and their groceries, and for their boarding, Father my God, Lord, for their books and their computers and their laptops and all those things, Father my God. Lord, that all the needs would be met, even for food and clothing, Father, my God. And all these things will be done, Father, my God. That you provide for these parents. Give the parents good health and strength. Give the parents promotion on the job. Give the parents financial breakthroughs, Father, my God. Even for these children's sake, Father. That all needs would be met. Give the parents divine health and strength. And give all these students, my God. Lord, my God, divine health and strength. Protect them from COVID-19, Father, my God. Even the children, protect them from COVID-19. All sickness and disease, all viruses. Protect the parents from COVID-19. All sickness and disease. Give them divine protection, I pray. Lord, my God, and give them divine protection and divine provision. I speak it down in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This time we want to pray a special prayer. For Sister Sandra Dean and her family, the Abraham family, and also for the Sanesi family. And a special prayer for Katrina Samkaran. We want to pray a special prayer for them. Father in heaven, yes, Lord. I pray Lord yes. for Sister Sandra Dean and yes, Brother Peter and the entire Abraham family. Sister yes. Sandra Dean. Touch Peter in a special way, Father, my God. And touch their children, Father, my God. Hallelujah. Touch Christopher. Touch Darren, Father, my God. Lord, touch, cover them all with the blood of Jesus. Give them divine protection from every COVID-19, from every sickness and disease. And Lord, my God, provide for them, Father. Give them victory. Give them financial breakthroughs, Father, my God. Give them divine health and strength. And I thank you, Lord, for blessings upon their lives, Upon every member of that family. Give their children uh, divine protection on the job, Father, my God. Cover them all with the precious blood of Jesus. Make a way where there seems to be no way. And bless them financially. Bless them, Lord, totally with divine health and strength. Lord, I pray now for the Sanesi family. Touch them, Father. Lord, you know what they are facing. Lord, you know the challenges that they face, Father, my God. Cover them all with the blood of Jesus. I pray, my God, for Mr. Rupchan Sanesi, Father, my God. The patriarch of that home, Father, my God. That you give him divine health and strength. Heal his body, my God. I speak healing upon his body. From the crown of the head to the sole of that feet, Father, my God. Give him divine health and strength. 
Touch every one of them. All the children, the grandchildren, the great grandchildren. Touch them and strengthen them. Save the unsaved. Bring back the backsliders. Bring sinners to repentance. Set the captive free. Lord, touch them in our mighty way, Father. Save that entire family and speak it down and give them good health and strength. Lord, I now pray for Katrina Samkaran. Lord, you know her needs, you know her situation, you know everything about her. And I pray, Lord, that you touch her now from the very crown of the head to the soles of her feet. Touch Katrina, Father, in a special way. Lord, my God, bring salvation, bring healing, bring deliverance, bring miracles on her life, Father, my God. And the entire Sankaran family, save, Lord, deliver and set free. And I thank you for answering every prayer. In Jesus' name. Save me unsaved. Bring back backsliders. Bring sinners to repentance. Set the captive free. And I thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. We thank you for answering prayer this morning, my God. Lord, I wish Lord we thank you, Lord, for reaching out, my God, in the homes of this family, my God. Lord, I pray, my God, that most of all, my God, you will bring salvation, my God. We do not know you as Lord and Savior. Lord, bring them, my God, closer to you, I pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord before we dismiss the prayer this morning. Thank you, Jesus. So come on, Sharon, we want you to join. Amen, as we sing. You are the treasure that I am with. You are the treasure that I see. You are my all in all. Singing you as a precious tool. But to give up, I'd be a fool. You are my all in all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Believe him in his home. Jesus will provide. He'll be coming for you. Yes, Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for all that has been said on us. We Jesus. thank you for each student that we have prayed for. If those, yes, Lord, that we bless call by name or those we did not call, yes, bless, bless them, my God. Jesus. Provide for them. Make a way for them. Thank you for blessing parents, Lord, that they will have all those needs met in their life so that those children and their educational needs will be met. Thank you for blessing us, Father, my God. And continue to bless each and every one of us. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, my God, that you bless Wayne as well, Father, my God. Yes, bless each and every one, all the members of Word of Faith, Gospel Tabernacle. Bless them in a mighty way. Even those in Williamsville yes, Assembly yes. and those in the Gaspar Law Assembly, Father, my God. Bless them all. For Lystra Cox, Jesus. that you yes, heal her, make yes, a whole of well. Pastor Marcus Cox, Jesus. that you touch, touch him and, and his and wife, wife, Father, my yes. God. Touch each and every yes, one of them. Yes, Carol and, and Pauline Jesus. and every one of them, my God. Bless yes, them mightily in abundance. Let us have a wonderful week ahead. I thank you for answering every prayer. In Jesus' name. And remember, Jesus will provide. God bless you. Until we meet Friday night, 7 o'clock. And next week, Sunday, 9 a.m.